Welcome back, I'm JW Speaker. Today I'll be reviewing some German food that was kindly sent to me by Rachel from Sunshine Side of Life 77. Now I believe this uh, comes from a freeze-dried German IPA. And uh, here's the main, and it is uh, Kartoffeltopf mit Rheinfleisch, which is potato pot with beef. For dessert, I will be doing a mousse au chocolat, which is uh, like chocolate mousse. Uh, Orifo energy bar, which is apple cinnamon. An orange isotonic drink. And to go with the mousse, uh, cookies mit cacao, which is uh, chocolate cookies. Um, I haven't had uh, freeze-dried food from Germany, so I'm really, uh, really excited to try this. I do have to say thank you to Rachel for sending this to me. I really appreciate this. Um, yeah, this is awesome. I can't wait to uh, to rock into this. The, uh, yeah. There's a nice gusset on the bottom. Okay, anyway, uh, if you haven't seen Rachel's channel, please go and check it out. She does great live streams. If you haven't seen those, you should check them out. They are really good. Uh, I will be leaving a link to her channel in the description down below. Or a link to one of her videos, something like that. So, uh, again, thank you, Rachel. I really appreciate this. And uh, without further ado, let's get into this. I'm going to uh, pause and put everything onto a tray. I'll be back. All right, I'm back. Uh, everything on a tray-ish. And start uh, preparing stuff. Everything's ready to go. Let's see. The main, which is potato pot with beef. Uh, takes 450 milliliters, which is like two cups of water. So we're gonna open this up and get that going. And I actually don't know what any of this says because I speak a little German, but it's not the best. So I kind of just roughly read it. Looks like we're supposed to leave it for 10 minutes. Oh wow, look at that. Looks really good. Mashed potatoes with a bunch of vegetables. This looks really good. It smells really good too. We're gonna add the two cups of water. And has a, this thing has a nice, really nice gusset on it. That's two cups. I'm going to use my Tracy Phillips spork. This thing's awesome. If you haven't checked out Tracy Phillips' channel, please go and do so. He does great reviews as well. Alright, I'm going to get this stirred up. This almost seems like too much water, but it said 450 milliliters. Oh, it's starting to thicken up nicely. And I'm going to pause while I do this. All right, I have it mixed up. I'm going to fold it up and use a clip here. We'll let it sit for 10 minutes. should be ready. Might have to add a little bit more water to thicken it up, but this is some pretty awesome looking mashed potatoes. Put that to the side. We'll get our drink going. Five hundred milliliters on this, so I'm gonna use half of this. It's orange powder. Another water. Give it a stir. Let it sit and uh, dissolve. Hmm, that's sketchy. Right, we'll open our cookies up. Chocolate cookies. Nice little chocolate cookies. Mmm. Man, those are good. Nice chocolate flavor.
I mean, it looks like you get a good amount too. Next we have our apple cinnamon cereal bar from Orifo, or Orifo, excuse me. Uh, she also sent me a cranberry flavored one and that thing was really good, so I'm excited for this one. Mmm, smell the apples in it, it's really nice. It smells really natural. And now the chocolate mousse. I'll open here. Look at that, looks really nice. And it takes 100 milliliters. So, about half a cup, maybe a little less. Do I have it here? I'm gonna give it a stir up and I'll show you the after. So it's a lot easier just to fold it over and shake it up a bunch this way instead of trying to stir it up. All right, I'm back. It's been about 10 minutes. I uh, dumped the pudding out into a bowl. It's uh, really nice. It's starting to set up really nicely. And I tried it and it's, uh, it's like a dark chocolate. It's really good. Okay. So we're going to knead that up a little bit uh, more. It's been about 10 minutes. We'll take the clip off and we're going to dump it out. Now this is a lot of mashed potatoes. Look at that. It looks awesome. Looks like it has uh, pieces of beef. Carrots or green peppers. Uh, and green onions. Looks good. Let's get this out. Okay, so that's just some of it. There's probably... Uh, like another half left in there. This serves a lot. Well, you know me. I gotta try the divert dessert first. So we're gonna go for the uh, go for this pudding type mousse, and it has thickened up quite nicely. So I'd say it's kind of a mousse. I thought it was like a pudding at first, but let's get a look at it. It's pretty good. Hmm. That's really good. Nice and chocolatey. It's a nice dark chocolate. And it does form a skin on top that becomes crunchy after you let it sit for like five to ten minutes. It's really nice. Now let's try with some of these chocolate cookies. Yeah, the addition of the uh, cookies, that's fantastic. It adds a nice little crunch, cookie crunch to it that it needed. Let's try the main. Looks really good. Nice chopped up bits of uh, beef. Get it to focus. There we go. It's had lots of green onions, carrots. Looks really good. And some potato and uh, potatoes, obviously mashed potatoes. Hmm. Wow. That's excellent. The beef is really has a really nice flavor to it. Wow. It uh, rehydrated quite nicely. Nice pieces of beef. Little pieces, not a uh, formed pieces. They're like real pieces. That's really good. With some uh, really good mashed potatoes. You taste the green onions. Uh, that's really prevalent. I didn't really taste the carrots though. That's the one thing I didn't taste. I think the the green onions overpower the carrots. Because there's a lot of green onions in it. So you have to like green onions. If you're going to like this. Which I do. <clears throat> Alright. Let's get a drink of our orange isotonic drink. Which I think I made a little too strong. Oh well, that's perfect. Tastes like real orange juice. Wow. This is one of the better orange beverages I've had. Like, this is really good. Wow. That's fantastic. Mmm. Wow. Yeah, the lemon beverage was good, too. I tried that one. Uh, not on camera, but quite good. Last but not least, the 
apple cinnamon cereal bar, which looks fantastic. Need to focus. I'm curious if those are raisins or not. Well, we're about to see. Mmm. No, those are pieces of apple. Well, that's good. Mmm. This is a really good bar. Okay, yeah, that uh, apple cinnamon bar is really good. Yeah, Oreo puts out a good cereal bar. Nice and sweet, natural tasting apples, like it had actual bits of apples in it. The uh, You get the, just at the end, the hint of the cinnamon, so it's not overpowering. Really good, nice and crispy rice pieces. Nice and chewy, sweet, like I said. Wow, this is, this is really dang good. This is one of the better, uh, I always say this, but one of the better freeze-dried rations that I've had, and it truly is. This is really, really good. I can't thank you enough for sending this to me, Rachel. This is uh, really fantastic. Yeah, it has such a nice green onion flavor. Like, wow. If you like green onions like I do, man, that's one for you. And the beef has just, ooh, that nice flavor to it. All right. Well, that's it for the review. Uh, I will be finishing everything you see here. Um, thank you again to Rachel for sending this to me. I really appreciate it. Uh, make sure you do check out her channel. I will be putting a link, like I said, in the description down below. So please go and feel free to check her channel out. And uh, subscribe if you like her. The uh, channel, I mean. Uh, I mean, yeah. All right, well, that's everything uh, for the review. Thanks, everybody, for watching. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you. Bye.